where does it explicitly say in the Old Testament that we can add books and call it a New Testament? There's nothing in the Old Testament, which is to say that God has not explicitly stated how to create scripture or even that we should create more script. And yet we did. The question that at least modern Protestants ask, where does it explicitly say in the Bible that we should pray to Mary, that we should pray to the saints? Where does it explicitly say that in the Bible? Okay, where does it explicitly say in the Old Testament that we can add books and call it a New Testament? There's nothing in the Old Testament, which was certainly what the earliest Christians were referring to when they talked about Scripture. There's nothing in the Old Testament which is to say that God has not explicitly stated how to create scripture or even that we should create more scripture. And yet we did. So why did we? Or when we talk about, let's say, until or brothers, those are two good examples. These words had multiple meanings. The word saints and the word liturgist. Liturgist in the broadest sense mean, meant anybody who conducted a public event. The person who ran the local election, in the broadest sense of the word, is a liturgist. And then the specific meaning of liturgist is the, the celebrant, the one who makes an offering to God on behalf of the people. And liturgist, liturgos, is what the Septuagint calls the priest in the temple. And then Paul in Romans calls himself a liturgos. So the words had multiple meanings. So then how did the earliest Christians know what was meant? So which meaning is it? Your tradition informs you the people of God have that authority. That's our holy tradition.